everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to make an egg salad that you can do many things with if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook like I said all we need is just a few ingredients for this just some hard-boiled eggs your mayo mustard relish black pepper even paprika if you like and that is it this video is so easy it's only gonna take a few minutes to do this whole entire thing and you're gonna be very happy with how very little you actually need to make a good meal. Now I didn't show you guys me boiling my eggs, it's just not necessary at this point. But I do have six hard boiled eggs in this, double the recipe if you'd like to, um, but this is good enough for a family of four. Now what you see me doing here is I'm just using a knife to help me break it apart first and cut it up in a way. If you want it to be in finer pieces, I would suggest taking it out and actually chopping it up yourself on a cutting board, but I don't find it necessary. But I guess it all depends on how thick or how fine you want your egg pieces to be. So that right there is totally up to you. You figure that part out yourself. Now I like my egg salad a little bit more on the wet side. So if you guys like it like that, then follow these instructions. Otherwise, just go ahead and just adjust it to your preference. But the three tablespoons of mayonnaise is added, added right into this. And now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of just yellow mustard. This is where it gets really wet here. I am adding now two tablespoons of sweet relish. You want the sweet relish, not the dill relish because you wanna have that good sweet flavor with this. And all we have to do now is just combine everything together and just mix it up. The great thing about this meal is because it's so simple, you can do this with a sandwich, your pita breads, put it on top of a salad, just eat it in a lettuce wrap if you'd even like to keep it more on the low carb side. It's just easy. Everybody loves it, and if you can't finish it off for whatever reason, you can save it in the same Tupperware, put it in the freezer, or not in the freezer, I'm sorry, in the refrigerator overnight, and that's it. And it'll be ready for you the next day. Perfect with a good sandwich. I mean, it's just a good snack or a meal, or for a light lunch, I guess you'd say. But, I mean, we love this. It's just easy. Sometimes you just don't need to add a ton of ingredients to make a recipe good. I mean, I know some people add celery into it. If you like celery, I guess you can cut that up and put that in there. But I am not huge on celery, I've learned, as I've been cooking. It's funny how you find out things later in life. But I'm not huge on it, and so I don't like to add it into my egg salad. But I find this to be the simplest way to make everything. And if I just put it in the fridge, my kids can easily grab it and just make their own sandwich if they want to. Or just scoop it out and take a bite to eat if they really want to. At the end of this, you see me adding some black pepper to this. You can add this or you can skip it. It doesn't matter. The same thing with some paprika. If you want to add that, go ahead and add that as well. But I don't find it to be a huge difference in flavor because of the sweet relish that we're adding into this. That right there is a pretty bold flavor in itself. And so I feel like it doesn't really matter. But again, your preference is up to you. My family wanted to eat theirs in between two buns, and so that's what we did. I gave them some egg salad sandwiches, and they were very happy with this. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, hit that share button, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.